Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So next up, we've got a display case to do for a client. So I'll put a, a picture of it down here somewhere so you can see what we're building. But it's all to hold this collection of little stoppers that he has and he wants to display. So I picked out this really cool piece of quilted maple and I'll give you a good close look at it. And I'm hoping that we can get all of our pieces out of, out of this one board. We'll, we'll see. I think I'm going to need a little bit of six quarter for the shelving material, but I just don't know yet. I won't, I won't know until I get everything laid out on this board. Um, the plans are available on the website. There's a link in the show notes and that's what we're going to do. It'll be a dovetail case. It'll have a clear door and of course mount, mount all of the stoppers. So I'm probably not going to get going on this until tomorrow morning. I literally just came off the road today for work. So, but I wanted to get it going and, and get the intro and all that shot so we can just move right along on this video. I will give you a close up view of the maple that we're going to be using for this case. So there you can see it's, it's a beautiful piece of maple and I'm really hoping we can get all of the case sides out of it because that'll just make a beautiful display case. So there it is. Next up, when I come out in the morning, we'll get going on laying out the sides per the plans and we'll get this case done. Okay, so I know these are a little hard to see on camera. But out of this board, I got the bottom, my right inside, and my top inside. And then since these were consecutive, I just came back here and, and found a good grain match to come get my left side and kind of tie all that together. So that's all going to work out really neat. <clears throat> now the plans call for essentially a six quarter, five quarter, excuse me, top and bottom. Um, and this board is just not that thick. but the nature of this board is actually going to make it very cool and that I'm going to go ahead and, and put this whole case together in four quarter stock once I get all this stuff milled properly. And then I'm going to take a piece of my live edge and go ahead and laminate my top and my bottom to get the thickness that I want and, and just add an extra feature. But it's not required in this case, it's just a little deviation from my plan for a, a detail that I think will look pretty cool. The extra stock that I have here uh, will be used for the door frame when we get there. And I do have a little bit more out of this board if I need it, but that should be enough to get the door frame and really tie all this piece together. So all I'm going to do is, is rough cut these now to rough lengths and start the milling process. Right now everything is oversized uh, by at least a quarter of an inch. So I have, I have plenty of room here to get the milling done and uh, and I'll keep things labeled as we go. So I wanted to take a little time and decide on the dovetail layout for the case. Um, I made several different jigs, one to six, one to seven, one to eight. Um, and this is just scrap garbage plywood, but it's cut to the same size as the real pieces will be. So, um, but I think the one to seven is what's going to look best. And that's what we're going to go with. Okay. So that outer, pin is going to be 3 16 and then to find that center one I'm just going to go ahead and walk this off with a divider get a mark come back to this line and get a mark and I can 
add those lines and from there I have a little dovetail gauge from David Barron tools that I can go ahead and get our lines marked Now since all four of these are going to be cut exactly the same, I only had to lay out one. I'll use my one to six gauge and go ahead and cut and flip and I'll do that on all four sides and then I'll readjust for the center pin. And now I'll just go ahead and get this center busted out and uh, work back to my lines get it cleaned up. Okay, so now I just need to get the other ones marked out. Okay, so all I've done here is just laid out kind of per the plans where the shelves go. The shelves are each five quarter shelves and I'll get that material out in a bit. The darker lines that you see are the way that the shelves mount. Um, they're actually going to be quarter by quarter inlaid ebony and then the shelves will be notched to sit on those ebony runners. So next up we're just going to go ahead and groove those quarter inch by quarter inch runners and then we'll also move on and groove for the back and then I think we can glue up this case. Okay so I set my sled on the table I've set my blade to a quarter of an inch above that and I've marked all of the lines uh, on the insides of the two side pieces and I taped these boards together just so they don't move on me and I have a scrap test piece here so that I'll know when I get to the quarter inch and we're just going to go ahead and cut all these slots. Okay, so I was going to wrap it the back first, but I'm a little concerned with these pins that they might be, these half pins, they might just be a little bit too delicate and I don't want to break one off. So I'm going to go ahead and do the glue up and then I will come back with a rabbiting bit on the back side and wrap it the back for the back panel. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also a little concerned with the heat today. It is warm. So I'm going to have to move. Okay, we'll just let that cure up for a couple hours and then we'll move on. Okay, so next up I'm going to go ahead and take this really cool piece of maple that I got down at my local hardwood dealer um, and rough out for the shelves. Now they're going to be way oversized because I don't want to cut them till final size until the ebony is in with the shelf supports and the back is in because they these really need to fit nice. But I can get them to rough shape and start laying out for the cork toppers. So let me rough this out. I'm not going to bore you with rough milling stuff. You've seen that before and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I got all the parts cut. I've cut a bunch of extras just so that I can practice. This particular one has a big split on the end, so it was good. And this is the only one that's actually cut to width of the box. The rest of them are not cut to width. So like I said in the, in the beginning, this is what we're mounting. So I use calipers because it's got a little inside gasket on it. So I use calipers 
to find that, that size and then measure it up with the Forstner bit that matched. And then of course for the cork portion, I did the same thing with a set of calipers and matched it up with a Forstner bit that matched. Um, I also measured how much I needed on each end and then just spaced it off evenly in between. And I just grabbed a set of dividers for that and, and walked them off. So worked well. So next up, I'm gonna go to the drill press because we have to drill this recess first and we have to find that depth. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and I'll drill this whole, this whole board um, and then we have to find the final depth with this bit. Okay, I've reset up now with the smaller bit. I didn't have to move the fence. I reset the depth stop and we're going to make a test cut. Okay, so the fit is good, but I'm going to have to move my fence just a little bit. I got just a little bit of an overhang right here and I need to get that, that push back a little bit. There's at least another quarter of an inch that has to come off of this. So I, I still have room to move that back just ever so slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and get these all drilled out and then I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> 